Welcome to game three between Ziki and Dewalt Party Fighter, part of Fighting Spirit Mania. Been a great set thus far. And Dewalt showing why he is such a strong player in the previous match. Ziki's got to, I think, rub his head a little bit and come back to that. I feel like there was a moment where Ziki, if he went for the bust, I don't think Dewalt could have held it. Instead, opting to go for more macro-oriented play. Overlord making its way to the upper right-hand corner, by the way. DeWalt purple bottom left-hand corner. But DeWalt, the, the thing that I think separates DeWalt in particular in his PvZ versus other Protoss out there is his ability to put his units in the dark. Just the army movement, the map movement is incredible. Double Forge upgrade punishing Zeki in the previous match. Probe Scout moving out. Looks like it's going to go ahead and... So it looks like both players potentially going to get last scout. Both directions. We'll see if Zeki opts to go for a nine pool once again. Never mind. Looks like it is going to be over pool for him. No second probe moving out for DeWalt to go ahead and detect whether he's going to go for early forge. I'm wondering if he's going to go cross map with this probe scout or if he's just going to continue that cycle. Second probe cycling down. Let's see if he opts for Forge or a Gateway behind this. I assume it's going to be Forge because this is coming out a little bit later. Yeah, Forge plopping down. And he is moving out that second Probe Scout, so he wants to see if he can go ahead and get that Nexus first. And we saw at the previous match, it is possible, especially depending on Larva counts that are left and how many minerals are saved, to go ahead and sneak a Nexus. Drone blockading this Probe a little bit, wanting to... Not give it vision. And also potentially leave the natural expansion unharassed. Looks like that's going to go ahead and get grabbed into Walt. Waiting to go ahead and see. And yeah, you can definitely go ahead and grab an Exus behind this. Because Zeke not grabbing any additional. So he's going to have four Zerglings. Sorry, never. he's only producing the two. Even behind this. So yeah, Nexus first. Easily for DeWalt. Will be able to hold. And only two Zerglings. This time for Zeki. Natural expansion online. Two probes going to go ahead and push that drone out of the natural. I think that drone did see that cannon warping in. So we'll see how Zeki plays it from here. One thing I've noticed when players go a little bit more Zergling light, it's kind of a little bit of cost versus DeWalt because DeWalt is so apt. He's really good at moving... He, he likes throwing those zealots out early. Zergling actually sneaking up trying to get a bit of a damage before this cannon comes online. Gets a probe kill and a Zergling pushes its almost pushes its way through. So no Zerglings now. And right now Zeki playing with no Zerglings. And no Overlord quite on the front yet either. Granted, there's nothing Dewalt. Dewalt doesn't have any zealots because of the Nexus early, but Zeki's still getting something done. So it's going to be an interesting early macro game here. Because Zeki not building additional Zergling. So there's initial two Zerglings, but really keeping it Zergling light early. Got that 12 o'clock hatchery online very, very rapidly. For Zelt being produced. Probe's now saturating that natural. But yeah, both players going for more of an aggressive economic opener here. Four Zerglings now out on the field. This Probe, ooh, hiding in that corner. Maybe he was maybe thinking about... A pylon, or is it just trying to hide? Right now you can see Zeke doesn't see it. Looks like that Zergling might be able to... Is that Zergling going to find him? Yeah, finally finds that probe. But here's the other thing. DeWalt's like, okay, you don't have vision. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to march the Zealot right across the map. I think Zeke, more accustomed to the... Yeah, more adapted now to DeWalt's play, does have Zerglings to deal with it. But secondary question is, is, is he going to have the wherewithal to know where the Zealot's headed? Zealot currently marching to the 12 o'clock location to be annoying and get behind that mineral line. Overlord going ahead and checking the main. In the meantime, level 1 weapons coming online. Looks like we are seeing a move to 3 hatch hide, uh, three hatch, sorry, Muta. First drone being produced, and it looks like it is going to be a probe and a Zealot initially at that 12, and Ziki getting caught a little bit off guard. The Zergling's actually not grouping up, and a second Zealot marching his way across the map. Now here's the thing, potentially can go to the natural expansion, potentially can go to the main. 
I think the probe actually got a drone kill in the midst there. And yeah, Zeke once again trying to engage this, trying to deal with it. Does manage to catch that Zealot in open field. Looks like he's going to get that probe as well. But a second Zealot's already out. Let's see if that Zealot's going to find daylight. And a lot of Zerglings actually making their way across the map. <laughs> Dewalt trying to hide that Zealot to the corner. Does manage to, almost manages to pocket it into the wall. Looks like it's going to get taken out as well. And so one Zealot remains. It's trying to march thus far. Dewalt moving these Zealots out hasn't gotten a lot accomplished. He's going to be able to see that fourth hatchery, I believe. Yeah, sees that fourth hatchery on the corner. But in the meantime, no Zealots on his front door. First Corsair will be out momentarily. Got Has that Citadel of Dune coming online. And the Spire just about finished. Dewalt is going to need to plant some cannons here and there to potentially defend, although it depends on... Ziki sometimes will do... Hawk Ziki, a lot of these guys, will opt just for a few initial scourge before they really dedicate a lot of mutilisks in the early game. Fifth hatchery before any unit dedication. Yeah, just initial zerglings. Sometimes... Yeah, the Mutalists are just basically there for defense. But even now, I actually wouldn't be surprised if Zeke opts to go ahead and skip Mutalist production because of the lack of a Zealot threat. Looks like plus one weapons is coming online. Two gateways also coming online. It looks like DeWalt. So once the Scourge gets in there and scouts, looks like we do have a handful of Mutalists being built and insufficient numbers to maybe do some devastation at the main. This Corsair are actually going to go ahead and just straight up Try to hunt down this Overlord, maybe getting aggressive because it knows plus one weapons along the way. And just trying to slow... Yeah, so going to get the kill there, but that reveals position. Where were the Scourge? I swear Scourge were built someplace. Maybe I missed them dying someplace. Or maybe they're being saved and pocketed. Right now, a cannon, one single cannon, is being morphed at the main. The Mutalists are making their way that direction, but this might be sufficient Mutalists to go ahead and punch this through to Walt. Clearing out that front door. The Zealots making their way out. So whether or not this was going to be a successful attack or not, the Mutalists are going to have to careen back potentially to the natural expansion. And it might be a tit-for-tat situation. So these Mutalists doing all sorts of damage. The Scourge, they're the Scourge. Looks like they were being saved. But the Zealots marching into the natural. That's four Zealots. Not a lot of Zerglings. The drones trying to weave back and forth. So damage being done on both ends. But I do believe Zeke's getting the better part of this. The Zealot's now marching into the main. I don't see additional Mutalisks or Zerglings to support this yet. Now the Zerglings trying to catch up to the Zealot line. The drones making their way to the natural expansion. The Mutalisks pulling out of the main. Actually going after Zealots that are trying to reinforce. The Zealots working on that Spire. That would be a big loss. Microing their way across and he gets it. So damage done both directions. A lot of probes were wiped out into Walt's main. He has the four Corsairs left and plus one weapons shortly. But DeWalt equalizing things by taking down that Spire and doing all sorts of economic disruption as a counterplay. Looks like additional Scourge were produced. A sixth hatchery being planted. Hydra speed finishing. Zeke currently not dedicating the resources to go ahead and rebuild that Spire. Might want to babysit these mutalisks a little bit more as a result. But things, I'm going to say, potentially just about evened out. Another DT, sorry, first DT being produced on the front. Zeke looking to maybe punch into this natural expansion. The Scourge moving forward, looking to engage. There's no cannon to support. So without the cannon to support, these Scourge are going to be enough of a valid threat. It's that plus one weapons coming online that, ah, oh, so one, two Corsair down. The six Mulesks going to go ahead and back out with those three Corsair there. But this does look like a four to, uh, even with these four Corsair, potentially can take out those Overlords to open up attacks for those Dark Templar. Now making their way to the natural expansion. The Mulesks a little bit delayed to help engage. The Corsairs starting to punch their way through the Overlord fleet. Looks like the Overlords are getting picked off, doing so much damage so rapidly. The Dark Templar holding up short. Zeki in the red. The Mulesks Engaging with the Corsair, the DT going ahead and backing off. Don't like what they're seeing. Nine o'clock base. And the Mutalist just engaging, getting good spread. Overlord has been picked off. But the Corsair fleet being 
somewhat equalized. So it looks like the air fleets on both ends just exchanging and being annihilated. There is going to be a delay on robotics. We do have Lair and Overlord Speed being upgraded, and Lurker Aspect is being upgraded as well. DeWalt still on two bases. Zeke starting to grab his third gas. The Dark Templar... Is this Corsair? Corsair making their way up to the 12 o'clock. The Dark Templar going ahead and backing out to provide some defense on the front. Both players kind of in a situation where they don't really have a sizable enough army to do anything but defend. So it is going to be a bit of a macro race from here and a lot of handful of idle probes right there. The Corsair fleet being rebuilt. Sidestorm also getting upgraded and additional gateways being plopped down. With the Overlord speed coming online, the Dark Templar now more at risk. Not exactly an endangered species, but at the same time need to be a little bit more careful. Zealots marching forward to go ahead to come to their shadowy brethren's defense. A couple Zerglings getting picked off to go ahead and clear out map vision. And this is this is the part of the match that I always feel like DeWalt's so strong in. Just able to cycle that army with map position. You can see what Zeke's doing. He's got like three control groups of Hydralisks around just trying to keep eyes on DeWalt's army and its positioning to know where to go. A Dark Templar trying to back, trying to draw these Hydralisks into that upper right hand corner to potentially create another situation like the previous match. The Corsair is getting free damage on these Overlords. Might be able to take out both of these Overlords as they're getting marched back. Zeke re-engaging now. Psystorm on that back wall. That High Templar is going to get picked off. Lurker's burrowing, so that's going to take care of those Zelts on the front, but there's no Hydralisks to engage these Corsairs. So instead, a slew of Overlords getting slaughtered over the natural expansion. The Hydralisks finally getting here, and the DT trying to march its way in. It looks like it's going to get wiped out immediately. But huge cost in Overlords that is greatly going to shift the balance to DeWalt's favor. And they're still going for more attack here to the 12 o'clock location. It looks like finally getting taken out, but honestly... Great damage done, and just air control playing, paying great dividends here. Another slew of overlords finally coming online. A bunch of lurkers being morphed immediately. But DeWalt now with the supply lead. I feel like he's in a position where he can go ahead, if he can just march out clear of these zerglings, go ahead and grab his third. Still has a sizable zealot army in the middle of the map. Not a lot he can do with it, though, without Dragoon support and without Observer support. Because of the sheer volume of Lurkers, finally getting that Observatory. So one problem with Corsairs is it delays that Observatory quite a bit. So you need to make sure you're getting Overlord kills when it happens. And Zeke, feeling a pause in the action, knowing that he has a window of control with those Lurkers, going ahead and grabbing that upper right-hand base. DeWalt backing off with this army. Wondering if DeWalt... So not positioning to go ahead and grab his third. Instead, still trying to bully his way around the mid-map. He does have... A large amount of gateways behind this. Attacking yet another gateway on. Still playing that two base style. Was able to slow Zeke down considerably. But Zeke still has a very healthy drone count. Zerglings getting cleared out here now at the 9 o'clock location. A couple Zerglings trying to flood through mid position. Queen's Nest being plopped as well as the Evolution Chamber to make the way towards Hive. The Zerglings looking to maybe dive in with that army out of position and clear out and delay this third base. And it looks like they are going to be able to do so. So the probe evacuating. Army moving in. That some nice positioning and game sense there from Zeke saying like, even though you're clearing this, I think you're going to go ahead and take that base that's away from me. So another probe. This is, yeah, and this is time where that expansion isn't coming online. That probe hiding for its life. As these Zerglings on the prowl. And these Zerglings are like, I don't care if I die or not. I am frenzied. I want to kill a probe. Looks like they, that probe is going to be safe. It's not going to be found. And while all of that's out of position, the Zelts with level 2 armor, level 1 weapons, moving into that upper right-hand base, we do have level 2 weapon Hydralisks to go ahead and engage it, and Lurkers behind this. And no, it looks like the Observer trailing. DeWalt needs to protect that Observer. The Zealots leading forward to box out those Hydralisks, eating a lot of damage very, very rapidly. With that level 2 spines, they're melting, but it looks like they have a sheer volume to just punch through this. 
and Ziggy doesn't look like he has enough army to go ahead and defend. Psystorm saved for the Hydalisks that were coming in to try to defend this from behind. But DeWalt finding a timing and the army position to go ahead and punch through. And I don't think Ziggy's got enough to defend this base. Reinforcements coming in. Lurker is plopping in mass right on top of the Dragoons. They're getting cleared up. Is this hatchery going to get taken out? DeWalt trying to get up to the high ground. Ziki just having an... Oh, I didn't think Ziki was going to be able to hold this, but it looks like he has an overwhelming amount of reinforcements to go ahead and clear this base out. But while all that's happening, DeWalt has established that 9 o'clock base. So this got wiped out, which is never good for a Protoss player. Especially if you're not able to take a, a clear on a clear base out. But in the meantime, the nine o'clock base is up and online. Double evolution chamber now in position. Hive tech is here as well. That's gonna allow adrenal upgrades to come online. Potentially defilers, potentially ultralisks here as well. Ziki going ahead and reinforcing that upper right-hand corner. Starting to get a big surround around this third. Wants to challenge this third. Especially after that last army grouping was expended. Picking off the cannons on the high ground. The Hydalus just walking up. Psystorm a bit blind over the edge. Dragoon's now filtering in. And there's also attacks happening at the natural expansion. Zerglings flooding that direction. However, there's a kind of odd SimCity, but some pylons, some cannons, everything else to go ahead and defeat that, but the Hydral is still trying to poke up the high ground. Ziki wanting to penetrate this, wants to make sure this base doesn't stay online. More Zordlings looking for counterattack situations in midfield, but DeWalt sealing up. He's got that third base, wants to hold it. Zealots, oof, a little bit out of position, suiciding down onto the Lurker line. Looks like the Observer finally getting position to go ahead and work on these Lurkers on the low ground. In the meantime, natural expansion is thin. Main's just about mined out, so DeWalt's basically going to be down to one base. Ziki, in the meantime, at four. Ziki has level two weapons, level one carapace versus level two weapons, level two armor. And so the upgrade's not too bad, and it looks like more coming online. He does have hive tech. I believe adrenal has been upgraded. I do not yet see that tier three tech. An additional gateway being grabbed. An observatory just trying to check things out in the upper right-hand corner. A DT... Trying to get something accomplished. Going to get very quickly surrounded and wiped out. And now Ziki, if he can switch into more of a soft contained situation, might have DeWalt against the rails again. Right now the supply is even, but DeWalt needs to defend both his third and somehow slow down some economies. Hoping, I think, this DT is going to be able to make it in that upper right hand base and get something accomplished. I feel like that's more of a desperation DT than anything. And DeWalt is starting to clear out troops before they're really able to establish anything towards that natural expansion. They're eating... Ooh, that High Templar able to get a Psy Storm down before being taken out. Zerglings moving across, trying to get surround on those Dragoons. It looks like these Dragoons are going to get taken out. So DeWalt going to lose a lot of troops. The Zealots marching in. The High Dark Templar are there. Keep in mind there's no detection where the detection's a little bit delayed on the front. So DeWalt refusing to be contained here. Continuing to push through this. Ziki... Is getting backed out, but there are more reinforcements in the form of Hydalus moving forward. There is detection to help deal with those High Templar. And these Hydalus do have level 2 weapons. So they will trade decently against these Dragoons. More Lurkers moving up. And yeah, DeWalt's going to have to back up. And that was a lot of troops expended for nothing. The assault continues. Great size storm over that edge wall. That Dark Templar got nothing in the upper right-hand corner looking on the mini-map in the meantime. More Psy Storms over that edge. And DeWalt still trying to push through and push this army back. A brief pause now with observers over that edge. DeWalt trying to regroup. He does have the closer reinforcement point. Ziki moving some more units down. And Ziki continuing to try to cap this contain. Moving more Lurkers in, more Hydalists. The observers looking for a peak corner to go ahead and break out and get the surround, but the Hydalus pushing through. The Zerglings able to sneak through, get on top of the Dragoons. Nice protection of the High Templar by DeWalt, though. And DeWalt continuing to slowly but surely march forward and break out of this. However, he still has not stopped Zeke's economy. Zeke still rolling at a lot of bases here. He's got his third. But we got the Defiler Mound down in the main. Level 2 Carapace is going to come online shortly. 
And Walt needs to establish either additional base or needs to take out several bases that Zeki has. Moving into the six, going to clear out the Zerglings there. A lot of Lurkers and Zerglings moving across. Looks like there's a drone transfer to go ahead and saturate that upper right-hand corner. Zeki spending his minerals well, but looking a little bit light. DeWalt pressing up midfield. Finding some Zerglings. Lurker's going to burrow there. Just trying to keep his opponent on the back foot. Got a lot of gateways behind this. The Forge is continuing to roll those upgrades. But DeWalt looks like the Zerglings were able to sneak into that 6 o'clock. So DeWalt's still sitting basically at one base at this stage. So it's one base versus four base Zerg. So DeWalt needs to make something happen. Otherwise, Zeki's just going to continue to macro up and run away for, with, with this game. Also, Consumes coming online. We do have Defilers out here, which is going to make those Zerglings even more powerful, particularly against this heavy Dragoon army. Are a handful of Zealots to help engage. We do have an Archon to try to mitigate that advantage. Zeki grouping up with that army. DeWalt trying to take a Desperation expansion that bottom right. But he's going to have to... So he's got his work cut out for him because he's got to hold bottom right and that 9 o'clock base. Dark Templar sneaking through. Very quickly getting surrounded. Gets absolutely nothing. This has not been a good game for the Invisible Men. Looks like that Nexus currently not being touched, but honestly, one swarm up here, I don't think those Zealots are going to hold. Is there a Defiler with that grouping? Do I don't see a Defiler currently with that army. But just look at just one swarm, and this base is gone in my opinion. DeWalt might realize that he's starting to re-engage that army. The Zerglings looking to go ahead and flood to the bottom right. A couple cannons morphing on. Morphing online. Zeki... Does have the supply lead. The Zerglings are able to slip through. Dedicated there. Zeki actually skipping both locations. And marching his army to the natural expansion. Going for the throat. The Zerglings chewing through that Nexus extremely rapidly. Nexus is going to hold. But while that was happening. Dark Swarm on the natural expansion. And DeWalt might end up losing his main. He's going for a huge counterattack into the upper right-hand corner to try to equalize this. DeWalt red in the supply, so he's got to get it done with here. There's some lurkers greeting those zealots. They're wiped out. The observer out of position. DeWalt not able to keep army cohesion and calling GG right there. He just had too much territory to cover. Zeki's economy was too strong, and DeWalt just did not have the resources to get it done. So game three, going to Zeki. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.